What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rajat. Welcome back to our channel VFX World. I hope you really enjoyed this amazing teaser from the upcoming movie KGF Chapter 2. And today we are trying to recreate this title inside of After Effects. And if you are new in this channel, then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. And now, let's get started. Okay, so right now we are in After Effects. I have done few settings here and if you notice, we have done a lot of stuff inside of this comp. But before that, we have to install our very own font. And the font link is in description box below. Okay, so first of all, as you all know, you have to create our comp. I already have done this before this started in this tutorial. And this is our very own text, KGF. And this is our texture, which is already in the background. So first of all, what you have to do, the very first thing, just have to select this one and from none let's change it to alpha mat to kgf so it means this is marked with the text layer so what happened when you move this it will exactly move like a normal masking process and all now we have to decrease some colors here so go to color corrections go to curves and then just decrease the color and increase the contrast a little bit so that it can feel like a little bit of coal mine kind of thing okay so after that we have to just select new layer and we have to make it like saber and simply just press ok now right click go to video copilot and then go to saver this is a complete free version of video copilot you can go and download this is amazing plugin from video copilot i really love that a lot so now go to this customize core and from the code type change it to text layer and from this none check it to kgf and make sure you have to make it to effects and mask so right now the saber is completely applied on this layer so now go to here this preset option change it to fire so this is our very first step which is completely done now we are making the next steps i hope you really enjoyed this till now please go and comment about your thoughts in this tutorials now for the very first thing what you have to do just decrease the core size to make check around 2.5 which is very down and then glow intensity to 20 and make sure the color should be a little bit reddish kind of thing and yep this is fine okay so now as you can see this is a very much distortions are happening here it's a very a high dense distortion so what you have to do you just have to go to this glow settings and the distortion settings and from here you can find this code distortion and let's change the amount of distortion to 12 so that you can find out something like that now before doing anything we have to start doing our animating process so go to this first frame and just increase the timeline we are taking only like six seconds this is fine and from this here you can find the start offset and the end offset just click the start offset here and make it to 100% and go to the 6 seconds this is much and press N to trim the comp area and after that simply decrease the start size something like that don't make it completely because as in the trailer they are not done it completely they just have done very small part so i'm just making it only like 20 15 or 16 percent is enough now change the marks evolutions uh something like that and it's fine now press u here to find out these two keyframes select these two press f9 go to this one and like this just make it to something like that so let's check what is will happen you can check the preview and let's decrease the resolution to third so that you can exactly see the preview very well so this is our very first preview of the very first kgf chapter two and guys after that what you have to do you just have to do a lot of stuff here so first of all as you can see in the demo here you can find out the text will disappear first and then it will appear after some time so the technique is very very easy so first of all go to the first frame and here you can find this is your very first comp okay this is your very first comp just make it to full raise and now just turn on both together just select this one go to saver down render settings and you can find this option called compositing settings from black make it to transparent so that you can exactly see both together okay so here is the preview as you can see this looks so amazing but not like the movie style so first of all go back to the full resolution and now we have to animate that text here so first of all go back to here and select this one and select this mask one select this one as well just draw a mask here something like that and then select the mask go to the very first frame go here you can find this mask path here you can find like this and then you can select the move tool double click here so that it will select here and move it to here something like that now you can increase the mask feather value something like 150 or 70 percent that's it and now you can just move something here something like this 
and then double click here and just move it to here that's it so now what happened it will come like disable this one and it will see it's coming like very smooth kind of thing isn't it cool right okay so now we have to do some settings here change let's select this one select this mask path go back to the first frame and just make it to a little bit different something like that so now what happened when you move it it's starting from this angle not like the straight one just when you move this it will come like this okay this looks really cool okay so now you have to change a lot of stuff inside of this saber mode the main animation is done now select these two keyframes press f9 and select it as usual make it to like this okay the very first comps process is done now you have to do whatever you have to do inside of the saber option okay now select the saber and have to duplicate this and just rename it to saber inside that's it now select this and move it to down now go inside here and from here you can find this disable option just make it to enable masks so now what happened let me show you the solo mode you can find everything is right now inside of the masked area something like that okay so now what you have to change it will exactly applied on the inside core just turn it on so now you can do a lot of stuffs here i am just making it to change a little bit some noise scale just making it to 150 and then i'm just increasing the distortion amount to 25 percent and then just check how it look like let's see uh, with this one just, okay now it looks really amazing and now change the color a little bit of different something like that so that it can exactly see from the outside okay now when you turn it on back you can see some reddish kind of things are exactly visible but the modes are exactly same so now what we have to do we just have to change some settings here just press u and you can find the start offsets so just change the offset value something like that and make it to here so that you can find this one here so it's completely based on your choice how you can do the animation process and all okay guys now after that what you have to do we just have to make sure the text should be a little bit of three-dimensional way so just select this kgf and go to this effects and presets where you can find this emboss just type emboss and then you can find this color emboss just drag and drop onto the texture here so that you can find out the textures are right now see this one is the previous one and this is like the current one it looks a little bit of like chunks and all okay now you have to make sure you have to do some kind of uh, background stuff so that should be look like more realistic so i have some atmospheric options here you can check out this this is all available on like action social pack you can go and check out those are absolutely amazing so just drag and drop on the background here so that you can find out something like that go to effects right click color corrections and from here you can find the tint one and select this dropper and i'm selecting this one the, like, the main color so this comes like this i'm just making it to a little bit darker something like that and then i have this one as well make it to top here so that you can find this smoky kind of thing here this will come something like that and same thing you have to apply the same tint color just control c select and then control v okay that's it now make sure the color should be little more brighter so that it's exactly start highlighting something like that and yeah this is fine now in the main comp as you can see here you can find out this particles are here so what you have to do you just have to apply a particles here so i have a particle something like that so let's go to this one this is our main final comp so just select and drag and drop into the here now you can find this is a normal particles here so just right click transform fit to comp and then from normal make it to add so now you can find out this particles here but as you can see these particles are right now very sharp so just select and make sure you have to apply uh, gaussian blur so just double click here and then make sure you have to like five percent yeah this is good enough okay after that we have to add more particles on the top of here so just select and drag and drop into here now you can find these particles here make sure it should go here scale it down something like that Make sure it should come here and just make it to a little more bigger don't worry about this i'll fix it out now make sure from free normal make it to add or screen whatever you want to make sure you have to use add or screen so just let's make it to screen here and then okay let's make it to add okay fine now select a mask tool and you have just start doing some random mask here so now this area is completely masked out make sure it should here something like that you just have to apply it something completely up to you play with this then just increase the feather value something like that 
and now you have to place the exact mask positions just make sure it should go here that's it fine okay so now you have to increase the feather value more and select this and just do some color corrections go to curves and decrease it and increase the contrast value like this that's it now have to go to this main saver which is our main one where you have to change some settings on this flicker glow distortions just increase it to 125 percent and go to the flicker change it to 10 so that it can flicker it out when the fire will exactly exactly happening and then just decrease the glow intensity a little bit down and this one glow intensity should be a little bit higher just a little bit and after that, just make sure the core size, let's make around 2.10. Yup, this is fine. And then you have to make sure you have to increase the hollow intensity to let's take around 400. Now see, it start glowing and visible everything here. Okay, so now after that, you have to do very simple steps that is called like his distortion that is also available from Video Copilot. Just right click new adjustment layer and rename it to like heat this torsion that's it and then you have to apply right click and then effects controls video copilot and then you have to find this heat distortion just apply it now it will automatically apply a normal heat distortion but make sure you have to decrease the resolutions and all so just decrease the amount to 5 hit amount to 22 percent and whenever you play this you can exactly find this kind of see if you notice this is like a heat distortion options and all okay so now everything is going so good now right click pre-compose and move all attributes and press ok and then right click and then adjustment layer from color correction panel you have to find some lumetri colors and now you have to do some color correction steps and all so first of all go to basic settings and you have to increase the contrast something very high because this is a very contrast kind of thing and increase the uh, temperature to like this decrease the shadow a little bit down and from the creative option increase the faded film like 25 percent so that it's feel like so much cool kind of things and make sure the shadow tint value a little bit of blue and after that double click and make sure you have to turn on all the motion blurs something like that so now when the motion blurs are turned on it's feel like the fires are glowing and all and after that this is a completely done when it's look like you just have to apply a normal cinemascope here just make sure you just have to apply a cinemascope and make sure this should be like 110 percent and yeah, that's it. So whenever it will completely done, make sure that should look something like that. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this amazing trailer recreating process from KGS chapter 2, the most awaited film from this year. And if you really love this tutorial, then don't forget to like, comment, or share. And also tag me, whatever you will do on the Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. All links are in the description box below. Go and follow and check out our new tutorials on YouTube channel VFX World. See you next time with some more amazing content. Have fun, stay home, don't go outside. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.